Hi. Nice to meet you. So, <laughs> Libby's going to get her music set here. Okay. She's going to do a song from a show called The Last Five Years, and the song is oh. called Still Hurting. Oh, I love this song. And, um, oh, the pain. Oh, the pain. <laughs> There's so much pain in singing this song. What made you decide to sing this one? Oh, I just love this show. Jason Robert Brown is one of my favorite composers. Oh, yeah. And, oh my God, okay. There you go. <laughs> And um, I got the chance to see it in New York when it was revived at the Second Stage with Theater. Betsy, with Betsy, Betsy, Betsy yeah. Wolf, and yeah, and it was so incredible, and it's just such an emotional piece. That I really it, is. it is. You know the, you do know the world of this song, and you know that obviously you know the yeah. piece. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, do you want me to should I explain it or? Uh, does anybody here know the last five years? Did anybody see the movie with Anna Kendrick and Jeremy Jordan? Um, you can explain what the, the world of this song is, so to put things in context. Um, well, this song is the song that starts off the show, and pretty much the show is really a progression between the lives of two people in a relationship, Kathy and Jamie, and Kathy's um, story in this relationship is going backwards while Jamie's is going forwards, and they start at the point um, where it's five years later and Kathy um, walks into her house to see a note written from Jamie telling that he's leaving her. And it's... Really oh, the pain, yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay. Come and hide and run away, run away, run and find. Can I stop you for two seconds? Because we, we might as well. Um, so that I've, I'm not going to focus on you all as beautiful as you all are. One, you have a really wonderful set of pipes. So that's wonderful. Um, however, this is one of those songs where it's acted more than sung. Um, and so I'm noticing that you're, you've, you're putting ad libs and twists and stuff. And like, for a song like this, it's really not necessary. And the more direct and the more simple the delivery is, because um, there are songs that will command the ad lib. There are songs that will command that kind of vocal inflection. But for something like this, have you ever been through a breakup in your life? Y yes, no, maybe. You're not giving me a straight answer. <laughs> yes. yes. And so if you don't mind, I, I don't need to know who it is. If he happens to be in here, well then, sorry. Um, <laughs> So, I mean, when, did you talk to like one of your best friends about, about how painful the breakup was? I just want, I just kind of want to put your mind into the world of, of that. Well, and then, I, and then we'll, I'll make you sing it again. Uh, I'm kind of a private person, so I didn't Okay, know. actually this is better, because then this is something that is all going on in here. So... When you do say stuff like go and hide and run away, run away, run and find something better. And, and I'm noticing there's a lot of this going yeah. on. Try as much as possible not to fill the, we, you don't really need to fill the performance with this. Okay. Um, so in your head, you can try making this adjustment. In your head, it's whoever that, you have to, one, put yourself emotionally in that very, and I'm sorry to have to make you go through it, in that very painful place emotionally, because, I mean, that's how the show starts, and it needs to kind of punch us in the face with how painful it is, because then it contrasts in the context of the show with how happy Jamie is. So those two things really need to hit us at the beginning. Yeah. Um, so when you sing it, when you sing the whole... This is one of those times when it's like you are talking to him, like the things that you were unable to say to his face because you're by yourself, mm -hmm. that's one of those times when you can be as 
hateful, but it's, you magnify the hate in your head and in the performance, but don't try to force it out of you. It's still very internal, if that makes any yeah. sense at all. And you don't have to fill the performance with junk. Okay. It's the more simple and straightforward a performance is, usually it's the most effective. And it's one of those things that every performer will learn as they get older and as they mature, as human beings, that usually the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Mm -hmm. So, straight line. Yeah, you, there really is no, because you're, and also because your pipes carry the song well enough, try it again, but place your head and your heart in a very painful, emotional place and see what happens and try to take out the ad-libs just for this mm -hmm. and, and yeah, and try to imagine that they're not here and that you are in your bedroom and you are fresh from having, having said goodbye and it's still very fresh and very raw. Mm -hmm. You ready to try it again? Yeah. Okay. Call and hide and run away, run away, run and find something better. Gorgeous voice, thank you. How did it feel? So how did the adjustment feel for you? It was easier to connect with the song and sort of get to that emotional place as yeah. opposed to thinking about technically. Yeah, I mean this is one of those where even if say, if you find yourself just getting really, really emotional, it's fine. But here's one technique that, allow, allow me to share, you're trying to make the audience cry not yourself. Mm -hmm. So the more you kind of keep the emotion and the more you try not to get too overly sentimental and because I'm not a big fan of overly sent yes, from Miss Saigon and Les Mis. <laughs> um, I know, because those, those two shows kind of get weepy. But you're trying to move the people watching you and, and you yourself, it's, it's the more you kind of not let the emotion kind of get control of you. You're the one in, in the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. But it's nice that the adjustment seemed to work. It seemed, I, I was, it's much easier to get into what you're going through when there isn't a lot in between the audience and you. So that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much.